The default file explorer display is Home View. This is a landing page where you can quickly access system folders along with recent items and those marked as favorites. To add a file to your favorites, right click on the file and choose Add to Favorites. The file appears within the favorites group until removed by right clicking and removing it. Adding a file to favorites does not move its storage location. This is only a shortcut to the file. Likewise, removing it from favorites does not delete the file. You cannot create new folders or files from the home view. Right click on an item for a menu of additional options that can be performed on specific files or folders. For example, you can add selected files to or remove them from the quick access area in the navigation pane displayed on the left side of the Explorer window. Rather than using the typical ribbon view, File Explorer in Windows 11 displays a command bar. While displaying the home view, most of the options are disabled. Double click on a folder to view its contents and note that new items such as subfolders or files can be added to the open folder. The name of the open folder appears on the File Explorer tab. The command bar currently displays sort and view options only because no items have been selected. The full path of the current folder location is displayed in the address bar. You can navigate up to a specific subfolder by clicking between the arrows. The folder's contents are displayed in the primary window and the name of the folder is shown on the Explorer tab. When items are selected in the current folder, the command bar presents the cut, copy, paste, rename, share, and delete shortcuts. Double click on a subfolder or file to open it. File Explorer in Windows 11 displays each open window in its own tab. To open a new folder, click on the plus symbol and navigate to the desired location or type it in the address bar. To change the way the current folder's items are displayed, click on View to open the menu of options. Use the options from the menu to make a change. Before clicking, you can hover over a setting for a live preview of how that option will appear if selected. When choosing Small Icons view, all items are listed in Columns. Changes made to the view affect only the active folder. If you would prefer to use less screen space for the contents list, click on View and choose Compact View. White space is removed from between the item names, allowing you to view more per page. When working with any folder other than the Home view, you can choose a sort order to help you locate items by name, modified date, or other criteria. Click on the Sort drop-down and make a selection. The current sort criteria are indicated by a dot next to the options. To facilitate the selection of multiple files or folders, you can enable checkboxes next to the item names. Click on View and choose Show to display the flyout menu. Select Item Checkboxes. From this menu, you can also display file name extensions and hidden items. You can now use the checkboxes to select folders and files. Actions can be performed on all selected files at the same time. Return to the Show flyout of the View menu and enable the Preview pane to quickly preview a selected file. The Preview pane opens in the right side of the window. Select a file to preview it. The same area can be used to display details about the selected file. Return to the Show Flyout menu. Select Details pane. The pane now displays metadata attached to the file. To rename a file, select it and click on the Rename shortcut on the command bar. Type the new name and press Enter. When using checkboxes, you can quickly select all files in the active folder. Check the box at the top of the list. You can now perform an action on all selected items, or deselect specific items to exclude them before performing an action. Right-click and choose Invert Selection to deselect all selected items and select those that are currently unchecked. The three files that were originally excluded are now the only ones selected. 